Good afternoon. So this will be our midwinter mite treatment using oxalic acid and an oxalic vaporizing wand. These ones are available at most beekeeping supplies. I'll attach a link at the bottom here. A friend of mine, Murray Willis, makes a really good product. <clears throat> I use a commercial grade oxalic acid. I use one teaspoon. I put it in the vaporizing wand and the wand is then <clears throat> placed inside the hive and a protective wet towel will keep the vapor inside and the beekeeper should always be wearing an appropriate mask. Now we'll do, <clears throat> we'll use a car battery, the energizer as a diesel motor heater so we'll do it for a three minute burn <clears throat> and after the three minutes we'll disconnect the battery and allow it to continue to vapor for another minute so four minutes in total a three minute burn one minute for a cool down <clears throat> so the vapors are coming up through the entire hive <clears throat> and this will take care of your mite control during the midwinter season. Now once again, this is a repetitive treatment you need to <clears throat> attempt to do this every seven to ten days for three events. Now I know in the winter it's hard work here in Canada. <clears throat> Today it just so happens to be plus 10 Celsius. So it is difficult to achieve the seven day or 10 day time frame. <clears throat> but what you're trying to achieve also is that the bees have broken cluster. That means they're, they're not huddled together in a ball. If they're in a tight ball and it's cold, the vapor will be far less effective than on a day like today where they're throughout the hive. <clears throat> and the vapor can then attach itself uh, to the mites on free flying and free moving bees. So we've finished the three minute burn. <clears throat> uh, when we finish the three minute burn, we'll just disconnect the battery, let it vapor, let it cool down for another minute. And my assistant will tell me uh, when that time is up. <clears throat> now it's always important <clears throat> that you have a real good understanding of what your mite load is. In other words, you need to do a mite wash and get a, 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 a count of your mite load. No point in doing a treatment if you don't know what your mite load is before treatment and therefore after treatment. So in different parts of the country, different parts of the world, <clears throat> there is a specific tolerance of a mite load, uh, 3%, you know, 4%, 2% mite load is, uh, is not bad. There may be some times where you have mite loads that are 18, 20%, and uh, that would be a hive that may not survive the winter. So this type of treatment midwinter is really good to take care of those big heavy mite loads that you might have missed in a summer treatment or a fall treatment gives them an opportunity to take care of that midwinter. Three minutes. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> following this, I'll have another video of how to install Apovar strips, which will take your mic treatments from mid February through to spring. And I'll show that to you in the next video. It'll be short. And uh, thank you for watching. <clears throat> the crystals have completely dissolved, <clears throat> vaporized, and there's nothing left. Cool it off. Move on to your next hive. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel.